people have said to me, you're in the funeral business, and I, I kind of like to say, no, nah, we're, we're in the compassion business. We're in the compassion business. Since 1872, if someone needed funeral services in Alexandria, Minnesota, there's at least been one of the Andersons that's been connected. But I just think we, we, we have a family tradition to uphold and the people that are here doing the day-to-day -day work now are, are very well aware of that and they treat this like it's their own business. My mother worked for Tom and Dave's grandfather in the 1940s and she was so impressed with his professionalism and kindness that she always spurred my interest in mortuary science. And through that relationship, we got to know Tom and Dave's father, Paul Anderson. Paul had a talent of making people feel so comfortable wherever he was. And he had a sense of humor that was just really quite remarkable. I still can hear that robust laugh. Uh, Paul Anderson and Daryl Flagg were incredibly wonderful men. They, they just did such a great job. And Tom and Dave have been a great reflection of their family history taking care of this community with the care that they have and compassion and they've treated everybody like family and I truly would like to thank them. A long time ago we listened. Not every family wants to do things like a cookie cutter style and our funeral home has listened to requests of families whether that be special songs or working with the church to driving the hearse by their farm for the last time on the way to the cemetery. We always will listen and if respectable, we try to do exactly what the family wishes. Anderson touches on every aspect that you can ever imagine and then some. They are very qualified. They know what they're doing. They're very people oriented and that is the biggest thing for me is that they took care of me as a person, not as a client, but more as a friend or family member. My husband was a firefighter and an EMT and after his funeral we had turned onto Main Street headed towards the cemetery and there were fire fighter personnel and ambulance services all lined up and then at the end they had these big fire truck ladders going up and making a cross with the flag and we proceeded underneath it and they were all saluting as the hearse and the casket went by and as the kids and I drove by and took your breath away when you turned on the main street it was phenomenal. It was a wonderful tribute to my husband. They just go to the nth degree on everything that they do from the beginning to the end. And even at the end when the funeral is, you're still not done. They're still there. They're still following up with you. They're still checking in and making sure that you're, you're doing well and you have everything that, that you need. That was just over a year ago when my, uh, my father passed away. When the time came to, to choose a, a funeral home, um, the, the answer was, was pretty uh, clear that we were going to go with Anderson Funeral Home. Fantastic people, really make you feel at home and, and uh, a part of the community for, for so many years that it just was a, uh, the right fit for our family at, that, uh, at our time of grief. Having them involved, they were so professional. They had answers to all of our questions. We have a pretty large family that were coming from all, not only all across the, the state, but all across the country. They accommodated everyone's uh, requests, everyone's needs. I, I could, it couldn't have gone any better. Uh, I mean, they, they did such a great job uh, uh, for my family, so I, I'm just very uh, grateful for everything that they did. Every family grieves differently. We have to listen and be respectful to those approaches on what they think may be best for them, whether that's birth burial or cremation. We are the only crematory in Douglas County when they call Andersons for cremation, they know that their loved one does not leave our building. Anderson Funeral Home acquired a location on Broadway, which we now call Anderson on Broadway. The advantage of having Anderson on Broadway is that we are able to have our New Horizons program here, which is a program that's been in place for aftercare for the grieving. 
Anderson on Broadway also hosts events such as the Andy Bear Project, making bears with your loved one's materials, and they end up being a keepsake. I cannot say enough about the current staff. Um, everything from behind the scenes to the family service, everything is handled with such dignity and respect. And they require the best of us. And we are very willing to serve with pride because we know we're respected and appreciated also. When I first started here, I knew of the different funeral directors being out in the community. And as I say, working as a parish nurse, I attended quite a few funerals. But I had never knew these directors as well as I do now. And I'm just, I marvel at how they meet the needs of the people. They are so caring, so compassionate, so available that it really, as I said earlier, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. We believe you should be relevant in the community you serve. In our case, that's Alexandria in the greatest Douglas County area. Management and our staff has always been involved because we realize that the community puts a lot of faith in us to take care of their loved ones. So it, it is imperative that we then give back to the community, whether it's uh, volunteering at Knut Nelson or Bethany Home or working in our churches or funding some of those issues. You'll find uh, Anderson Funeral Home involvement in everything from building the YMCA to building the new high school. We are part of the community we serve and I, I think giving back, it, it comes pretty simple to us. I think the Anderson way of, of handling funerals is we listen, we stay in the background, we serve with compassion. We're a family here and we provide that passion as a family to families. For 144 years, somebody from the Anderson family has been the fallback guy but when we're called 24-7, we've made sure somebody has been there. And I just think 144 years, I'd, I'd like to know who else has done that in the community for 144 years. It's, it's just a long time. This award I, just really makes us feel good, appreciated very well. It's, the community has been just fantastic in helping us support through four generations of this kind of business, a business where you were happy to go to work every day and uh, help your fellow neighbors. It's, it's the, the employees and the, and the people and our customers, that, it, that's why we're here. For 38 years I loved my job and I think Tom did too. And to get the award is just something special. There wasn't a day that I didn't want to go to work which is amazing. Also, I want to thank the BIAD committee for uh, putting this on and recognizing us. It is very well appreciated.